Hey everybody, how's it going? So in this video, I am going to augment the handle of this telescopic fishing rod. Now you probably remember the video I did when I received it. I mentioned that this wasn't exactly the same type of fishing rod that was shown in the photograph. And if I can find a photograph of it on their website, I'll post it and I'll show you what I thought I was getting to what I actually get, which is a very common occurrence with online shopping. So what we have here, we've got this as this aluminum handle with a kind of cheap Damascus pattern to it. And as you can imagine, this is not a very functional handle for a fishing rod, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some shrink wrap um, material, which is, I'll just show you. Um, it's this stuff here. Um, you get this tube-like material. This is 20 millimeter, that's the diameter. And it comes in one meter or 39 inch strips. And you just cut off how much you need. Now this will shrink around whatever you place it on when you apply heat. And um, it comes in different diameters as well. It, you know, that's just, just the one I bought to fit this. Now I've already pre-cut the piece I am going to need to fit on the handle of this fishing rod. So I will still be able to access the little storage compartment here. And of course, as I showed you in the video, the other video, um, you can unscrew this handle to extend it um, to make it longer for casting. So I want to be able to, of course, access this part here. So we don't want to cover, we just want it to go from here to here. All right, so just put that down right now. Now also, when you're using this, you will need something like this. This is a heat pen, which is used in crafting and um, whatever. Also, you can use it to melt uh, dry paint, melt plastic or whatever, melt glue. Um, it has, it's um, a 300 watt device, this, so it does get very hot. Uh, don't be putting it in your face or anything silly like that or doing that with it. Um, you will need that to shrink this. Uh, some people have asked, well, will my hair dryer blow out enough heat? Maybe not. Uh, so if you can get your hands on one of these, you can get the gun or this is the pen. Uh, you will, this is what you need to shrink this, okay? Um, hair dryers might not blow hot enough for it, for it to shrink properly uh, or if it, even if it does, it's going to take some time. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap some of this Gorilla Tape around the handle first. This is to give me a bit more cushion on, on this. Even though this has got a really good grip to it, it's not very thick. So I'm just going to put enough around so I still be able to get this around the handle, but give me just a little bit more cushion uh, uh, to work with. Okay, so let's get to it. So let's just take this off. This is really sticky stuff too. So I'm just gonna tear it. And then I'm just going to wrap this around the handle. This is just, as I said before, to give it just a little bit more cushion. I'm stretching it a bit. Didn't give myself enough. So, I'm just gonna tear up a bit more. Doesn't have to go all the way to the end. There we go. That's just. So we're just gonna finish wrapping this. It doesn't have to go all the way to the end, but again, I just want it to just provide a bit more cushion to the, uh, to the um, handle. Okay, that's good enough. Let's just get that. 
Okay, so now we've got the tape on. It doesn't have to be pretty. So now we're going to take this and we're going to slide it on over the handle. Line it up. Okay. And then we're going to take our heat gun. And start shrinking. There it goes, it's starting now. Just watch your fingers when you're doing this. This thing gets awfully hot. See it start to form around the handle. Now to get it nice and snug. You only get one shot at this. <laughs> if you do it wrong, it might be problematic getting it off. So, but it looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure it's tight around here. Looks like a golf club handle. Turn that off a sec, and that's a yeah, that's a bit warm, but there we go. That's pretty good. Still a bit hot to grab hold of. I suppose you could even put another piece on, but that now is a pretty decent handle. That was quick, eh? <laughs> About seven minutes to do. And there you have it. One functional handle on a telescopic fishing rod. And maybe next video I'll show you it in use. How's that? All right, guys. Thanks for spending me a very rainy, rainy Sunday. I don't want you to see me. Sundays are not my best. <laughs> All right, guys. Tight lines. See you the next time.